She earned nothing. She knows how to do nothing. And she stands for nothing other than one thing, Meghan Markle. It's clear. Harry and Meghan serve themselves, so nobody likes them. Princess Catherine, on the other hand, serves the people, so everyone loves her. It took just 22 words for the Meghans to seal their fate, and only two minutes for Princess Catherine to not only rally the world, but to show Walmart Wallace what real courage, true character, and rare nobility looks like. Meanwhile, the Megans are in a tailspin. They joined Amber Heard as 2024's most disliked celebrities. American Riviera Orchard looks like it's going to be a bust before it begins. Its Instagram account has stalled out, and Martha Stewart just crashed the party. Meghan Markle has said that she wants to become a brand like Martha Stewart. I, I want to be like Martha, she said. I just read that today. Well, you and I are reading the same sources. <laughs> you and I are reading the same sources. <laughs> to top it all off, African Parks continues to be ignored and rapper Diddy just shined a hairy spotlight on the has -beens. You know, the ancient Greeks used to say, tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. What's going on, everybody? Megan and Harry are really only good at being bad. That's about it. The way I see it, life, according to the Megans, really isn't about love or loyalty. It's all just about the loot. It wasn't only about the position. It was about the money. Mm. And Megan came into the royal family with the expectation that she'll be able to milk those others. And they're quickly uh, running into serious problems financially. Along with a brilliant Lady Colin Campbell spot on take, a news report shares how she who must be obeyed just ordered her ginger handbag to get off his butt, to get back into the UK and to win back the royal family because they're going to need a little help trying to hawk 100 pound grievance candles, which probably a wine and hiss once you light them. You bake? Is that what it is? Because I don't believe that. You wear a ball gown? OK, I guess that's true, but it's pretty much with somebody else's money and somebody else's styling. I don't get it. And I don't think other people are going to be attracted to her brand at all because it's fake. <laughs> the has needed the monarchy's help, but from all outward appearances, it doesn't look like they even gave it a second thought when they broke their oath to Queen Elizabeth about monetizing their titles. And as of right now, they still have not come out publicly to call out the mob who hounded the princess. Internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. <gasps> oh no, my heart goes out to poor Kate. Now let's dish the hot goss. I am ready to spill the tea. Instead of mending bridges, the Megans decided to compete directly against Princess Catherine's brother, James, like it's Black Friday and Dignity's on sale. Now add to that fact the grim reality that many of their Hollywood friends still have yet to make amends. We did some jokes about that mystery and all the attendant you know, frou fra in the reporting about that. And when I made those jokes, uh, that upset some people. There's a standard that I try to hold myself to. And that is, I do not make light of somebody else's tragedy. That any cancer diagnosis of any kind is harrowing for the patient. Is an explanation the same as an apology to the princess? No, not in the least. Do not bet on it. That's just a cheap cop-out from Stephen Colbert. But unlike that talentless hack, Blake Lively, once she realized the importance of the news, she did an immediate about-face. Some people well, at least have the good grace to apologize. Blake Lively uh, took to Instagram to say, I'm sure no one cares today, but I feel I have to acknowledge this. I made a silly post around the Photoshop fails frenzy, and oh man, that post is me mortified today. As for Walmart Wallace's good friend Kim Kardashian, a woman who's made of 70% silicone and 30% grift, she still has not pulled down her original Instagram post taking a shot at the princess, nor has she shown any sign of remorse. Like I said in the beginning, tell me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are. Why Prince Harry may come to regret his appearance with hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs.
To be crystal clear and completely fair to the problem, Prince, Harry has not been accused of any wrongdoing. Absolutely not. He has only mentioned once in passing in a lawsuit filed by a record producer against rapper Diddy. That's it. So I'm not going to report on this anymore until we get more facts to complete the full picture. Because I believe in the presumption of innocence. Regardless of who it is, you are innocent until proven guilty. But I'll say this one thing, that the timing couldn't be worse for the Megans. Right now, you have American Riviera Orchard's Instagram account has stalled out. They're getting anywhere around 1,000 followers a day, not the millions that the Megans expect to get, especially for a couple that's always in the headlines every minute of the day. And then news just broke that the boy who was butthurt over being born second just took UK taxpayers to the cleaners. And it was revealed today that Prince Harry's failed legal bid to reinstate his taxpayer-funded police protection in Britain has ended up costing the British taxpayer more than half a million quid. Not a really good look for the son of a king to sue his father's government and then leave that tab for the citizens to pick up. But it definitely shows us one thing, how spoiled a singular California spare can be. Just as if you may remember during the coronation, we waited for weeks, if not months, for Harry to say whether he was coming or not. Yes, uh, and one of the reasons we heard was because he didn't think that the security would be sufficient for him. He has to realize, of course, that he's no longer as important as he once was. Now he's fifth in line to the throne. He's not that important. We're already four months into the year and the menace in the mouth have already just earned the number one and number five spot as the most disliked celebrities of 2024. Now add to that how oddly silent the couple are being when it concerns Africa parks. There's no press tour highlighting the suffering of the Baka people. There's no gaggle of reporters following them on their private jet tour to the Congo. Nothing from Harry and Meghan but silence, all while the media memory holds all the horrors. Billy, Indanga, Nanga Baka, Duawa Billy, Babaka, Lia Billy, Kraza Mate Kuka, Womulete Du, Wekulu, Awa Billy, Boa Jawa, Ujala Kuka, too. So much for the House of Montecito being humanitarians. I kind of view them more like onions. Every action they take just peels back another layer of their characters. And none more so than how they feel about a mother of three fighting for her life. We wish health and healing for Princess Catherine and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. Now, I read that by saying it respectfully, as it should be, Princess Catherine. But the Megan simply called her Kate. No proper title, no calling out Prince William by his name in his title, no outpouring of love for him or for the children. Just compare their 22 economical words versus the 622-word statement that Harry's lawyer read on his behalf. Today's ruling is vindicating and affirming. I've been told that slaying dragons will get you burned. But in light of today's victory and the importance of what is doing what is needed for a free and honest press, it is a worthwhile price to pay. The mission continues. Slaying dragons, the journey to justice, mission accomplished, these are all emotionally powerful evocative phrases. Yet for Princess Catherine's cancer, it sounded like a cold corporate response. Now consider that when you have the entire planet, people who aren't actually related to the future queen were shaken to the core with her news. I'm just so angry. I, I've lost all faith in humanity. And this, I'm just really disappointed about the way we've treated her. And it feels like we've pushed her into having to make this statement. I'm mad at the John Olivers. I'm mad at the Stephen Colbert's. And I'm mad that this person became a punchline when she was going through something so serious and horrible behind the scenes. To make matters worse, when the Montecito merchandisers actually wished Princess Catherine to heal, they said she should do it in peace and privacy. Privacy, coming from that couple is rich. And yet it still does not explain how the entire global media complex got a hold of Meghan and Harry's private messages. Harry and Meghan have now privately offered their best wishes to Kate, so privately that we all know about it. And they talked about demanding privacy and peace for two people that they have been abusing for the last four years. And in Kate's case, branding her and King Charles racists. It seems that the husband, formerly known as Prince, can't seem to make up his mind. One year, he's happy as a clam living in California, raising his rescue chickens. And the next, he's raring to return back to the royal family. Except this time, he has a few demands. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle expecting groveling apology from Prince William and Princess Catherine. 
Royal author Tom Quinn shares that the delusional Duke and the D-list wannabe want their children to have a relationship with their royal cousins across the pond, but not before they're given a big whopper of an apology. That's not going to happen. Which leads us to ask the question, will Harry and Meghan actually apologize for attacking the royal family by accepting the Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award that so many have forgotten? And that's what Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry did. They went to the the, the the biggest institution, the longest standing institution. And they said, you know, we can't have this structural racism within this institution. You accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even, no, we well, of the British press said that. I just don't see a way back for the California chicken coopers into the monarchy. And I'm glad to see that I'm not alone. It looks like the royal family have no wish to see the husband formerly known as Prince, nor his pride return to being full-time working senior royals. Not one of the four participants of whom we have been speaking mm. has any interest whatsoever in ever interacting with Harry or Meghan in an official capacity mm. ever again. I guess Megan finally figured out that the pair are no longer trusted as a couple, which was recently proven because they were the last people to know in the family about the cancer, and they learned it from the news. That might go a long way to explain Megan's decision to start getting Harry ready for his fitting for his new clown suit. It looks like Megan's affinity for the spotlight has rubbed off on him because Harry loves being on the Hollywood scene. He could do a one-off guest appearance, sure. However, starring on something scares Harry, which is why Megan suggested he take acting lessons, says the insider. This just sounds too crazy to be true. But if it is, the wannabes are about to officially become a double act in the Hollywood circus. Just imagine for a second, if you would, think of yourself if you are Prince William, Princess Catherine, or King Charles. Not only having their day-to-day -day responsibilities, but the chronic stress of having to live with when is the next shoe going to drop from the Megans. All the while, you have the House of Montecito continuing to pretend like there's something they're not. I mean, they never look back to learn from their mistakes. They never move forward. They're just spinning their wheels, keep digging the hole that much deeper for everyone around them. I actually don't think Megan is capable of regret. She isn't capable. Her, her personality type is not that of somebody who learns from their mistakes. Mm. The great news is the entire world has rallied with one voice to send their love, best wishes, and blessings to the true princess. Now, if you enjoyed that video and found value in it, hit the subscribe button, share your thoughts in the comments down below. How do you think Megan and Harry are going to deal with right now being knocked off the front page and then share with everyone, you know, and remember that every Sunday Slayer Nation, my new live stream comes out at 2 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. UK time. And if you want to win every battle and stay true to yourself, all you have to remember is we never bow down. We never bend the knee. Always forward. What?